Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. I'll be making for you today a suck suck recipe. Now, I must tell you that this is not going to be the traditional suck suck recipe. You're gonna be using Kool-Aid. Um, we drink we drank Kool-Aid quite a bit growing up as children, of course, you know in the summer in the Caribbean it's very very hot and Jamaica is also hot certain times of the year well most of the year it's pretty much warm but summers are usually super super hot here we have three cups of water tropical punch kool-aid and some cane sugar and our jug and spoon to mix with it does get a little bit messy guys there's a lot of coloring in that and you're going to pour your water into the jug and the kit came with its own uh, measuring cup as well as these instructions but i couldn't understand for the life of me um the amount they were telling me to add so i just used my common sense and with that three cup of water they say that this um, container there equals to three tablespoons of the kool-aid so i just added one cup per one cup water and then I added a half because suck suck is supposed to be sweet so I'm giving you the exact measurements that I used and then you mix and it is as easy as that for this recipe of suck suck and I don't have the usual bags that um, doesn't have any lines or anything at the top it's usually a long bag that you can tie them out of it when you put the liquid in there but I am turning my Anna make fashion like they say back home, you know, so I'm basically improvising. So I use a Ziploc bag there, a snack Ziploc bag. And that's one thing though, you have to make sure that you fill it about halfway or a little bit past half because you want to give it, um, when things freeze, it expands. So you want to give it some space um, for freezing okay so you put um, the amount liquid in there to about a half bag or a little bit past half bag and then because we're using a ziplock bag you're gonna have to make sure that you zip it properly when I say properly I mean proper because if it should turn over or lean to one side in the freezer you know it's gonna spill and it's not gonna come out right so you have to make sure that you zip the the bag seal the bag very very well okay so that amount made four suck sucks and i'm now putting them in the freezer well i realized that some of the times when you put the suck up bags in the freezer depending on the basket and so on because it's liquid when it um solidifies or it freezes then it's gonna stick into the parts of the basket and it's very difficult to remove it so i just put a piece of um, tin foil paper to the bottom to eliminate that problem and about three hours later this is how it looks it's not properly frozen yet and that's the first bag and let me tell you whenever you make suck suck it's the same you know basically the same um, ingredients and everything but it doesn't freeze the same and I noticed that for all over the years it doesn't um, freeze the same so that's bag number three I think and I stopped right there so I'm gonna come back later and show you what it looks like and another three hours later six total of six hours now of freezing and this is what it looks like it looks like it's done right to your eyes no it's not quite done because when we talk about suck suck it's actually really solid frozen okay you see you have a little bit of liquid going around in it still it still needs more time i'll talk to you later guys